Welcome back. This is the Dennis News Network. I'm Scott Drake. My guest is Dr. Lewis Robinson with Periodontal Specialists in Scottsdale, Arizona. Dr. Robinson, good to see you again. Hi, Scott. Nice to be here. Today we're going to talk about tissue engineering uh, and how it relates to dental surgery. Can you explain that some? Tissue engineering is a term that evolved really through the periodontal literature. Um, it refers to the ability to regenerate tissue that has been compromised or even lost through aging, injury, loss of teeth, uh, or it also applies to the ability to change the anatomy in patients who perhaps would not otherwise be a candidate for dental implants, for example. Um, tissue engineering is a way that we grow bone where there isn't any, where we take gum tissue and cover exposed root surfaces to regain um, an aesthetic gum line. Um, anything that we can do to grow back or create something that wasn't there before is sort of in this category of tissue engineering. Well, Dr. Robinson, that sounds fascinating. How exactly is the process done? Well, it's a surgical process, but um, for example, um, um, older patients frequently lose their upper back teeth. When the upper back teeth are lost, the maxillary sinus grows down into the place where those teeth once were. The sinus is called a sinus cavity because it's a big hole. And if you were going to put a dental implant or more than one dental implant in that location and the sinus were in close proximity to where the implant would be positioned, then there isn't enough support for the implant. So today we have bone graft materials um, of, from different sources, some are synthetic, that can be surgically positioned below the sinus to literally raise the sinus back to where it was before any changes occurred. The bone materials that are grafted predictably grow and reestablish dense, durable, mineralized bone in which new dental implants can be installed predictably. And that technology has evolved really since 1986 when the sinus lift procedure was first described. And now with new materials, new graft materials, new um, protein enhancing chemicals, the procedure, I mean, I never say everything always works, but we'll knock on wood and it, it's highly predictable. Dr. Robinson, thank you. You're welcome. That was Dr. Lewis Robinson with Periodontal Specialists in Scottsdale, Arizona, and this is the Dennis News Network. Mm -hmm.